Hello everybody, welcome back to to another Let's Play of Dark RP Electric State. This is the first episode of a new series that I'm doing while playing this game. So without further ado, I'm just going to get started with this game. So as you know, in, so a brief overview on the game. One of the main purposes, or at least things to do in this game, is basically to either choose one of, few, one of a few things to do. One, you could be a classic entrepreneur with a business like how I have. You could be a scavenger, you could be the mayor, you can be a whole bunch of other roles. So as I said, without further ado, I'm just gonna uh, get get on get on and crack on with things. So th this this is my store. Uh, this is the Silicon Barn store. Very nice. So anyways, to, to build a cola empire, we need grapes to eat the cola, so just crack open my car and we'll be on our way. So I'll just uh, cut forward and and I'll see you there. Okay, I am currently now at the vineyard where you get the grapes to make your cola. So I'm just gonna scavenge four of these bad boys, plunk them on top of the car, and get on with things. And so, so being that I'm now getting grapes. A single grape, if you're a bartender and have the soda stand, which is used to make cola, you can make one crate of cola, which amounts to eight pieces of cola. So that's so that's pretty good. Cost is a thousand dollars, and and that's uh, the way of life for me. So again, I'll just cut ahead till we're back at the silly goose. Okay, so I'm currently back at the Silly Goose. I have my product. And so, if you're wondering what happened, well... Okay, so the mayor all of a sudden, it, he thought it would be cute just to make it, make the entire map a sandstorm, which is just nice. So, so let's just get back to making cola. So this is a soda stand, press E to use the soda stand. Locks color shipment, craft date, and we'll just wait for the thing to stop to complete. All right, and here's here's our thing. Very nice. So this is cola, and this is my hunger. When I drink it, it'll just fill it up. So anyways, I'll just go back outside and and just sell the coal. Now these here are dispensers. They cost four thousand dollars a piece. I'll just sell each of these coals for about ninety-five bucks a piece. Okay, and up here we have our first customer. And so he wants us to make some cola. So um, yeah, so we just invite him up here. All right, and and we just sent the sale. Just gonna keep on selling until we've got no more. Oh yes, and I might as well mention this is this is just annoying. It kind of impedes business, but you know. Finally, okay, we 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 have some more. 
plunk some into, into, the, into these dispensers. Now, a little, a little insider secret. You generally speaking want to distribute the amount, the amount of cola you have equally into these four dispensers to give to give the illusion to your customers that you have a lot of stock and when they realize you have a cheap cola they're, they're all gonna flock to you and boom you have a basically an instant monopoly so we're, we're gonna wait for that to happen in the meantime I'm just gonna harvest some crops as a side hustle make a little more money there we go and as well crack open a scavenge crate hopefully we have something good probably probably won't but who knows and as I thought the loot ain't so good so let's just go to our catalog no wrong one our inventory press G to access your inventory get your toilet plunger out sell your cargo into capital cargo station and we've just made 400 bucks and I might as well just make some more cola just to satisfy our future demands the same process as before and okay yeah that's real nice so we've got the cola and we're just gonna plunk them each into these dispensers And seven and eight are done. So yeah, so we've got all our cola. We'll just make an advertisement. It's only ninety-five buck cola at the silly goose. And yeah, let's just wait and see. I'ma just store my grapes in this this position so I know I can steal them because lock pickers are a problem and I'm as me I'm gonna be a bit hypocritical but you know it is what it is uh, it's it, we're currently in a dust storm so no one's gonna see me lock picking okay few I know no one saw me so I'm just gonna lock pick these grapes because well I can Okay, I think you might have seen my red name, so I'm just gonna hide and hopefully nothing happens. And and would you look at that? Sales. Alright, and I'm just going to ask him the cola. And boom, some positive feedback. Let's go. Alright, and I'm just going to unflag myself. There we go. And yeah, there, would you look at that? It's uh, free real estate. I'm gonna make, an, make another advertisement, get out the word as much as possible, and yeah. Uh, let's see if we can. No, we can't use that quite yet. So I'm just gonna lock up, get. And you know what? I'm gonna carry it. I'm just gonna plunk this in because that was from a previous uh, loot crate, which, you know, I, I know loot crate isn't the exact technical term but I, I just call it the little brown crates you find here and there in this map loot crates just cause and let's just, let's just go do some scavenging and I hear some gunshots let's uh let's uh, see what's going on and ooh 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 alright Whoa, got a crowd. <laughs> Whoa. 
Alright, right, so I got a little sidetrack right here. I'm gonna just grab some scrap and sell it off for it for the good old money. What a nice landing. I always like it when I, when I, when I stick the landing. Alright, so scrap some of the scrap and plunk it on top of my hood. Alright, and boom, yeah, we, we got the we got the scraps. Now this is a scrap yard, it's, it's near the center of town, so it's whatever. Now, there's two kinds of things you can get from this place. You can get either a box of scrap or a box of bolts. Now, to the average player uh, who really, really is most likely going to be primarily a consumer of products. It really doesn't matter since both sell for the same amount of money, 400 bucks. But if you're like a manufacturer like like me, or if you're a weaponsmith, or a weaponsmith now is not the correct term, but if you're a manufacturer of guns or other weapons in the game, it kind of does matter because you can't use bolts to make gun you need uh, like a legitimate box of scrap and also a few other things depending on you know, what you're making and all right and that's our last box of scrap so 400 times four boxes of scrap so that's 1600 bucks I easily made and yep, there we go there's the money so yeah so this is my inventory, nothing special. And I might as well just harvest some of this corn, make a little extra. Replant it, and... Go back inside, thinking that the sandstorm was over when it ain't. Back into this lovely interior that I designed, so we have a... Uh, if you want, we got we got a nice you know, bar area, we got a nice area to come and chill, have a drink, we got cards, two tables with some mood lighting, some nice decor. It's kind of retro, kind of apocalyptic in a way, and I and I like it. And um we have some we have some we have games, we have um two um what do you call them? Uh arcade machine so you know you can game it out you have a slot machine test your luck we, we have we have a computer it really doesn't do much other than it just looks cool so that's the um second floor this is the, fr this is the first floor I got some large barrels from the um uh, st patrick's day event uh, this is the scavenge station where we can scavenge Old World Crates for Aureus, which is a currency you can buy to, and get other loot crates, which has even more cool stuff. This is my cargo station, so this is kind of an arbitrary example. I can't sell this, but um, if you, like, hold, have an item, for example, like in, like, let's just say this, uh, Thompson, uh, Thompson, uh, nicknamed Tommy Gun, I can sell it here uh, for money. This is my, um, this is, this is, this little thing right here, I forgot what the name of it was, I'm just going to go to interactive. Okay, so that's what it was called there. I didn't have it for a second. So this is a shop beacon. I'm a bartender, I'm not sure why it isn't working. It, it was working with my previous build I was using, but it's whatever. This is my farm, uh, which is my side hustle. This is my manufacturing area, so I have a crafting station, and... This is, I believe, a weapon station, if I'm not mistaken. And and this is my kill zone toggler. So if I can, so if I toggle that, um, as I'll do right now. So basically, this means I'm inside a player's kill zone node. So that's basically mine. So if any, so basically, I can basically kill anyone without losing karma. And. Yeah, it's basically it's my base tour. This is this is the second. This is the top with some roof access. Got a door right here. Silly Goose Bar and Store. We have cheap cola, sometimes new guns, 
quote unquote internet cards and more so I pr I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen and whoa I'm, should I go I'm mildly intrigued but eh, like I mean it's whatever And, yeah, I guess that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like, comment in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.